Hey everybody, Rock Paper Mario here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, the Tree Heart Run, and we are still here inside in, um, Forbidden Woods, even though we're probably going to, realistically, we're probably going to be finishing it in, um, oh god. <laughs> realistically, we're probably going to be finishing it in this video if this Octorok can keep out of my business for long enough. Okay, don't, oh my god, did you see what it looks like underneath? I was like in the upside down there for a second. <laughs> Is what it looked like. Okay, can you actually get that thing to land on the ground, please? It's like I'm wondering why I'm like playing like such an idiot, like all of a sudden, like technically I am quite good at this game, so it doesn't make sense for me to be playing like this. So like the only the only like there are only two possible reasons for that. One is that um Actually, I'm just kind of after losing my touch a little bit. It's still useful. I'm still getting used to the timing on this boomerang. Oh, that, it's like, that's really strange. Wait a second. What about... I think, I don't know. It, there's something like really strange about like the controlling of it that's like so there's like some subtle difference that I just can't get my head around and I have no idea what it is it's like there's some like extra tap that you have to do in there sometimes yeah like that wait a second like look like I'm not holding anything and then I L target him and I press Y and he takes it out I press Y and he throws it I press Y and he takes it out okay there's like some like strange little subtle difference that I'm about it that I'm just trying to wrap my head around here. That's not even the way I have to go. It's over here. And it's like I'm still trying to get my head around it. Oh great. <laughs> get out of here. Whereas if I take it out and hold it... If I take it out and hold it while I'm L targeting, then I just have to let go of it. Okay, wait a second. If I take it out and hold it while I'm L targeting, then all I have to do is then all I have to do is let go of it again. I don't know. Like as I say, it's it, and this is exactly what I was going, what was was like trying to say here. What I was trying to say is just the fact that like. The fact that I'm not playing very well at the moment, like comparatively to, to to how I remember playing in like my original playthrough of the game, like that can have like one of two causes, like either I'm just like out of practice and I'm just genuinely playing badly, or um, like there's just some like subtle, like I'm so used to the original game from playing it so much and so intensively and getting so good at it. That like the subtle, the small little subtle changes in like how this game controls, like like the boomerang thing, like the small little subtle things where if you had never played the original, it would never affect you. Because I'm like playing based on skills I developed using a different, yep. using like a different game, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Because of that, like it's like completely like throwing me throwing me for a loop is what it is. I think that's like the best way I can like describe it because that's the way it feels to be honest. But yeah, it's interesting. Like, I'm not, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining or anything like that. Here we are, it's Mario's Sunshine time. Blue coins in Corona Mountain eat your heart out. <laughs> I must say, I love like how... I love just like the general kind of just how like I think like however they managed it like somehow okay don't like be shooting off in sync like that this isn't bukake here um the like whatever like however they managed to do it they managed to make what was already like a crazy beautiful game even more beautiful I don't know what I'm what is wrong with like how I'm doing this. <laughs> it's like come on, it's like we don't have all day here. Um but yeah they managed to like take what was already like a crazy beautiful game and make it even more beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna need my boomerang here. 
not only for getting into the boss key, but also for what's going to happen after I use the boss key. Isn't there like a thing up there as well? But I don't think that like, that's not what I want to do. I think I actually need to do this first. I might as well start getting used to this now. I'm gonna have to just, like change my posture for this. Especially since like I'm when I'm fighting like Kaladimos, I'm going wait a second, did I oh pfft. there's five of them, you doofus. Three I I have to like chain roll my hips in like a 360 here. <laughs> it's like jeez, I'm not as young as I used to be, game. What the hell is wrong with you? It's like I hit all of you, didn't I? Oh, I, obviously I did. I did it the wrong way. It's like here we go. Time for my hip workout again, or my my cardiovascular workout all over again. There we go. There's the money shot. Um. But yeah, so I think that's what it is because like there's definitely a difference with the boomerang. Like that's the first, this is the first time where it's actually becoming so, so apparent to me. Um, is like, with like the difference in the, in the boomerang with how like fast you can use it because you, it, it doesn't seem like you can use it as quickly as, as, as like in quick succession as you could before. Um, I just wanted to like get to, get out of there for a bit. Okay, now I'll like get this guy. Um, it doesn't seem like you can use it like in quick succession like you could before or if you if you can then then you just need to like what are you doing? It's like come back here and then come back here. Do I have to stun you all over again? Looks like I do. Um but like there you go. I just demonstrated how much of a difference the boomerang makes, even with having to get used to how it like controls like a tiny little bit differently. Um, I seem to be getting like the hang of it now. Like it's not as um, like it's not as jarring. I think, as I say, it was just extremely jarring for me at the beginning when I got it, because I was so I'm so used to using it for everything, and just like you saw. The boomerang is going to be the key to making this tree heart run so comfortable. Um, just because, just because it, of its ability to to stun enemies like that, like moblins. Like whereas normally you'd be like, oh no, moblins, please, I don't want to have to deal with that. And now you're just like, oh yeah, moblins, whatever. I'll just like stun them with the boomerang and then go about my mer merry way, pretty much. It's like I really don't need you guys right sticking on to me right now. Like, I remember, like, um, the boss of this place, like, Kaladimos. Where am I even supposed to go now, actually? That's that's a good question. <laughs> it's like I have the boss key, goodness knows, if I, if I know how to use it or know where to use it. Maybe I should take out my stylus again. There we go. <laughs> oh, there! Obviously! Jeez, okay. I forgot all about you two guys. Um, so yeah. Like, as I say, like, the boomerang... Like, I don't know how many times, more times I have to say it, the boomerang is going to be the key to... It's, it's the, see look that was like a perfect example of like in the original game like I was like I was like playing based on like how the the weapon like controls in the original game um, whereas like in the original game I could easily like within about like half a second have stunned like the two of those guys like if you if you don't believe me either go and like play the original game and try it yourself like if you have like both of these games just like try and like if you have like both of these games, like both releases of it, just go ahead and um, just go ahead and see what it's like, like using the boomerang in both of them, because it's totally different. Like there's something, there's something like innately different about it. I don't need any of this crap, any of this garbage here. Do you know what? I 
I could probably stand to go ahead and like open up that jar, I guess, is like the one thing I could stand to do. And then save my game, maybe, so that if I do die against the boss, because believe it or not, I remember like this boss actually used to give me trouble when I was younger. Yeah, I'm gonna save. Continue. And here we go. Like, as I say, this boss did used to give me trouble when I was younger, and that was even with four hearts. I don't know why, because it's not actually that much of a challenge. I think it was probably just the kind of having to aim quickly, and god, this place looks a little bit different. Just a little bit more glowy or something. Yahaha! Ha! It's Maker! And it's Flagra is what it looks like, almost. Some jerk. This boss battle is actually not even, like... It's not dissimilar to Flagra in a lot of ways, actually, really. Um, but... Uh, let's see, this might be, like... I'm actually wondering whether I won't die on this just because of the fact as well that... Well, I was gonna say because, like, the boomerang controls, like, a little bit differently, but that shouldn't make a difference in, in this boss battle. That shouldn't really make, like, a difference in this boss battle because, um, sorry, like, I keep having to, like, move my arms as well, which I'm not used to. <laughs> which I'm not, like, which I'm not used to having to do either. Okay, get out of there! Okay, see, this is what happens. We let him eat you and it does like, what, a whole heart of damage or something? Yeah, there we go. Okay, just like, get used to... Let's get ready to... What can actually be useful here is if you like, um... If you like, try and like... Okay, I'm gonna like, just keep moving here because he's gonna start like, throwing those tentacles out the ground. Like that. What can actually be useful is like that. If you like try and like make a point of like hitting like Okay, get out of there. I don't need to be hit by that thing again. I've got to like start getting those like tree hard run instincts going here. Because, like, if I keep playing like I'm invincible, like I generally play this game, because you generally are invincible, that's not going to work. <laughs> and this might be the first, this is like the first point where that is becoming, like, apparent to me. Okay, just get it off. I can't believe, like, that that... Oh, I got it. Okay. Jeez. I was actually, like, a little bit worried. Well, not worried there. Like, worried is such a, like, strong word, but I was conscious of- Okay, don't pick up that piece of heart in the cutscene now. That's what happened in, like, the ori Okay, where's Maker, and where's the piece of heart, and where I am? Where am I? Because that's what happened. Like, I kid you not. Like, that seriously happened. D see? Like, there. Like, because he runs over to Maker in the cutscene, and wherever it was that I stopped... Like, and where Maycar was, like, Link just ran through the through the heart container and picked it up on his way there. It was absolutely ridiculous. I'd forgotten about that, jeez. As if the boss battle didn't give me a heart attack enough as it is. The Great Deku Tree sent you. That's right, today's the day of our annual ceremony. Oh, I'm in trouble, I shouldn't be here. I must get out of here immediately. Wait a second, wasn't Maycar Samuel L. Jackson as well then? <laughs> At one point, Maycar became Samuel L. Jackson. Because he became Maycar Leroy Jackson or something. I have no idea. And it was just funny to have, like, this small little thing, have such, like, a big deep voice. It's like in Zootro Zootopia or Zootropolis or whatever it's called. Um, when, like, that small little fennec fox or whatever he is has that, like, is, like, that big crow. Mm. Oh, Maker, you have returned safely. Oh, I'm sorry, great. I'm sorry, great Deku. <laughs> I know you warned us many times, but still, I did not listen. I am a dumb ass, and my ass is dumb. Do not worry, Maker, you are safe now. 
You have done well, Harry. I must thank you for your brave deeds. And we got Pharaoh's Pearl. Thank you. Oh, so yeah, like... Technically, that was the first dungeon where we were actually doing a tree heart run, um, basically, because before that point, you're always going to have tree hearts anyway. But we have our boomerang now, and all is well with the world. <laughs> Just like the Deku tree says here. Please, play your song for me as you always do. Yahaha! <laughs> just can I can I just stop saying that? It's just but it's just so iconic, like yeah ha 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 it's just after becoming so iconic at this stage. I'm sorry to keep you all waiting, let the ceremony begin. Make our Leroy do, do like <laughs> with Link's Wind Waker, Maker and his fist <laughs> Oh remember the Maker and Link song in the Wind Temple? Like Nin Ten and Lloyd, or Alamar and Louie, Baby Metroid and Sam's Banjo and Kazooie. <laughs> Ain't no Mario Brothers or a Prof Layton Mystery. It's just make our link and your vicinity. Let's dance. Put on your red shoes and dance the blues. <laughs> That's what that always reminds you of when they do like that chord, like all the core rocks. It just sounds like the start of Let's Dance, where it's like, ah, dum, 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 bum, bum, dum, 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 Yeah, Koroks, it's time for you all to head off your separate ways and hide in numerous locations across the world of Hyrule. Devising little block puzzle, little, little block puzzles, little ball and chain puzzles, hiding under rocks, hiding up trees, hiding behind rows of flowers, hiding every which way you can imagine. Yeah, ha, ha. That's all I have to say. To, and that's all I've got to say about that is yahaha. So maybe now we can go to that jerk and get our blue potion. How does that sound? Seeing as we have magic now. There's Makar and his fiddle. So hollow, lay it on me. Am I allowed to get a potion now? Swordsman, thank you so much for bringing Makar back to us. And now that we have completed our ceremony, I can go back to researching my potions. By the way, did you find Boko Baba seeds? I have four. Oh, I have to like set them to something. I have eight of them, actually. I could technically get like two potions. This is so broken is what it is. It's like the, as broken as the boomerang is, this is broken as hell as well. What's the words again? This is like Anjala, Manjala, Cho Wei. Isn't it something like that, I think? Anjala, Manjala. Yeah, that's it. Anjala, Manjala, Cho Wei. <laughs> it's like Tingle, you ain't got nothing on this guy with his chants. Which are Kulu Limpa. Become readable. Yahaha! It's ready. <laughs> I'm sorry, we'll never have to see these guys again. <laughs> well, we'll see Maker, like, um... Yeah, I've got more seeds. I'll be waiting. Um... <laughs> well, we'll see Maker again later when, we, when it gets time to do the Wind Temple. Then I'll get to say Yahaha again. Till then, I've got to, like, make the most of it while I still can here. Well, we might randomly see a couple of Koroks out in the sea. Andra la la Um, when we're visiting the islands, Jerome's with the half-dead trees, and I guess we'll say hello to them. Hey, Hollow. Yahaha! Ha! It's ready. Here you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It looks like, like, it, something about the bottle looked like there was nothing in there or something. It looked really weird. Poor Link is just, like, not feeling too well at the moment. He's, um... 
Well, he's down to like less than half health. I have him down here. It's like, I'm sorry, Link, for pushing you through the strain of a three heart run in this LP. I really should be more considerate, I guess. But don't worry, I've been looking after you well so far. I know I'm like disallowing fairies, but didn't you see I just got two blue potions just in case we needed them? Oh, I can never get over how like pretty this place looks at night time. I'm so glad that the ceremony was at night time as well, because it just looks really cool. Like it has this real kind of like far like night forest kind of feel about it. See no way are they gonna give me Why do you give me magic? Sometimes you can get, like, hearts off them as well, but I'm not gonna waste my time. Okay, the post box. Technically... Technically, I could get whatever's in the post box, but there's not really even any reason to, and I'm just gonna stay away from it, because, like, there is one point... Yeah, he's regaining his power, alright. Yeah, I know what I'm doing, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't get all, like, thigh on my ass now. Um, so where am I supposed to go, Kingly Red Lion guy? Oh, there. Okay, well, we're going northwest, so I guess. Wh northwest? I thought you said northwest. That's west, Patrick. Oh, it's already facing northwest, is it? I think I already had it facing northwest because of the, um... Because of, like, going over to the Forbidden Woods. Oh, jeez, wait a second, I have to, like, finish the video here, jeez. Stop, 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 I said stop! How long does it take you to stop, King? Anyway, we're gonna finish the video here, of all places, <laughs> because I forgot to. Thank you very much for watching this part of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD, The Tree Heart Run. I'll see you next time. Bye now.